Hi Libra, here is a general look at your solar chart for September 2015 um, and there's some strong um, friendly, friendly energy, group energy, networking energy, being there for others sort of energy um, this month and there's the energy of um, shifting, shifting from one emphasis to another. So finally, this is the month that Saturn comes out of your financial area. So round of applause from from some of you, or maybe most of you. Um, it's also the area of um, other things. It's not just the financial side, it's to do with um, bits of kit, uh, but it can be to do with possessions and property and uh, other useful resources um, and um, it might mean that over this past two and a half years there's been a squeeze on those areas or, or you feel as though you've been going down a, a, a road with lots of speed bumps you know lots of delays and hold-ups getting something uh, together in a material practical way or it might have been in a in a physical way because this is an area which is very physical it can be to do with to do with your own physicality, uh, diet, exercise, um, medications, remedies, um, therapies, that kind of thing. Indirectly, this is an area to do with that as well. So yes, on September the 17th, um, uh, Saturn's, Saturn's coming out of there and going into a new area for the next uh, two years. Um, so more on that in, the, in a minute, but um, there's very strong s um, s feeling of um, socializing, uh, for work or for your personal life and um, until the 23rd the solar energies can be very much manifesting a, a, um, a kind of more s it, it, more sensitivity with the position of um, the sun, uh, more keeping a weather eye on how people are doing maybe, uh, more the support of the facilitator from behind this, pulling the strings from behind the scenes um, and maybe a little bit hiding your light under a bushel, even though it looks like a very busy time, as a matter of fact, there's maybe a lot more on your mind. So mentally busy um, and quite a progressive time as well. So you might have schedules and deadlines on your mind. You might be very much in the stream of information exchange and connecting over, you know, whatever um, communications equipment you've got to hand, um, f you know, phones, cameras, uh, and and also, you know, the internet obviously and networking, but also um, vehicles, uh, tra travel, transport, and um, it's a time for you to put those people skills to work um, because uh, there could be this. This is a great time for connecting, and um, also to find those spaces to relax really as well because um, you could be having a huge amount you know um, uh, all, all sort of um, left brain activity a lot of left brain activity Venus uh, your ruling planet and Mars are in the same area Venus has been in there for ages been in there since June the 6th really a good place for Venus to be very much underpinning and supporting you with group efforts um, the right sort of associations with with the right sort of people, you know, being in the right place at the right time is generally <clears throat> supported by this, but also feeling as though you are moving forwards now um, through maybe the groups or the certain uh, contacts that you have, people that you know, allowing that progress, to that ball to start rolling, team of efforts being well starred here. Uh, and Venus is in a very sociable, helpful mood. Anything related to technology is also very uh, favoured, activity online, social media, that kind of thing. And it could also, being Venus, Venus being the, the ruler of uh, f finances, um, it, it can also be materially beneficial for you um, using these this kind of technology or through these groups, etc. And um, uh, Venus also rules property, so uh, you may benefit material regarding materially regarding that through not what you know, but who you know, and also through the groups and special contacts, special cultivating those contacts, making those spe uh, special associations with others. Uh, Mars is there as well, so in this very future orientated area, Mars likes to get the likes to get going with action, having made a decision, wants to initiate things physically busy probably because of this area 
uh, to do with the groups, to do with the friends, to do with um, this this progress, very progressive time, feeling as though, you know, held back for ages at last, we can move forwards now. Uh, but you might be a bit over the top, you might be a little bit precipitate, you can come across as pushy, as sort of, um, you know, uh, using a sledgehammer to crack a nut, that kind of thing. So um, just be aware of that, Libra. Um, Mars is, after all, the ruler of your opposite sign, and every one of the signs has its sort of hidden side or it's even shadow sign, and that for you would be Aries. <laughs> okay, and this is the ruler of Aries. Um, so just avoid being hasty. Don't allow, the, uh, don't allow others as well to be hasty with you or, or um, kind of shoot from the hip or be pushy with you because that energy might turn around and come that way uh, uh, rather than through you. However, having said that, the Venus energy has been almost like your, your your fairy godmother here in a way. I have been known to call Venus Barbie and Mars Ken <laughs> because it is a bit like Barbie and Ken, but I'm going to call Venus your fairy godmother here. You know, that little bit of fairy dust just kind of just sprinkling all around you and, and kind of lifting the spirits, um, f manifesting through, you know, others um, around you in this very progressive phase, uh, when things which have been shelved, uh, which have been on hold, um, have been starting to move forwards. And uh, um, yeah, definitely time to get the ball rolling. And then from the 25th, Mars moves out of there. Venus still stays though, and goes into a more background area, maybe doing things um, more uh, in the wings, behind the scenes, getting ready for something. This is an area of growing within a kind of chrysalis, kind of, you know, um, uh, like like getting some, getting certain things done within a kind of a bubble. Um, routine checkups would be a good idea. Also, maybe even maintenance for out sort of uh, external things. And um, this area here is also you putting your desires on one side to a degree in order to support another or certain others or support a project even. So being busy like that, but being more self-reflective, kind of trying to work it out, trying to figure it out, um, might feel that, you know, that, that this sort of high octane buzz is kind of just settling down a bit. Um, <clears throat> and emotions and some frustrations uh, could catch you out. Uh, you could be just a bit near the surface at times. Uh, and your energies will tend to turn a bit more inwards then. That'll be over the, that six weeks from the 25th. And um, But it's a good time to be self-reflective, to do inner work, to do something active, because Mars likes to be active. That's the Ken side of Mars, you know, and likes to initiate things and be out in the lead. So doing um, things which are um, you taking control of your spiritual health, of your physical health, uh, and of the health of whatever it is you care about around you, um, but also going in for pursuits like um, yoga, qigong, um, and, and the like, and also doing maybe more artistic type work, or just being more in that artistic flow, beginning from the 25th. So that'll be as and when the degree catches one of your planets or the sun, that you will feel that the most. But the general vibe in this area here is is I've tried to give you some examples where you just um, just not putting yourself out there to with such gusto and 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 in in, in, in a, such a robust way because you've got to you've got to protect more your field your 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 physical energies so just fo folding the wings in a, a little bit and then from the twenty uh, third the sun moves from the area. Uh, which is very behind the scenes, into your sign. So just as Mars has moved into the behind the scenes area, or the sun has, has two days before moved out into your sign, and that then will be your birthday month. Um, and it's a good time to be taking stock, to having a recapitulation, a review, but also to be more self-centered. So maybe you've been very much out there for others and, and very much, you know, getting tired out sometimes, with all of their demands and requirements, maybe for work, maybe not, you know, and, and this is the time for you to really, really get more self-centered from the 23rd onwards. Um, 
and uh, have a bit of a makeover maybe, you know, get a massage. Uh, just get, get things more for yourself during that time there, that month. Or in fact, even the six weeks. Um, and then Saturn um, has returned to her previous position. Uh, that's to say Sagittarius. So for the next two years, this will be taking that that um, rather sort of um, slow, um, heavy energy. It's a heavier energy out of your financial area, out of the area to do with um, getting the right property, getting the right equipment and doing it smoothly. And, and, and if you've been into anything like that of late, you Libra Sun or you Libra Rising people, you will know um, that it has been a little bit difficult um, over this previous two and a half years. Um, now it will go into a communications area. This is where you will come across bureaucracy more maybe or um, authority figures more. However, um, uh, it's actually going to be in a very supportive, no, quite a supportive aspect to your son in Libra, uh, whereas the previous transit was not. Um, so, um, here you've got, you know, lots of rays of hope glinting through. Um, uh, you have uh, this kind of, e even though you've got to be sens sens sensible and keep your head screwed on and keep your wits about you in certain communications or correspondences, the general outcome would tend to be in your favour. The general outcome even though anywhere Saturn goes, we have to be patient because things are gradual and it takes a while. But if you're having an interchange, um, then that would tend to, um, you could, you know, grasp the um, uh, opportunity uh, maybe to even um, get, th you can get things sorted out. So if you're in a negotiation sort of situation, you can get things sorted out. You can get things sorted out with... Um, but it might take a while. Another way this can work is that you decide to write your memoirs uh, and that takes a while uh, and you've got to really work at the structure and the shape of it. You've got to figure out how it how it should be laid out, the format and all that kind of thing. That's an example of Saturn there. Or it might be another way where you've got to meet more deadlines with your communications, your writing, your speaking, your art, your media. It might be like that. Um, uh, it might be communications equipment sometimes can p pose a problem or two um, during this long Saturn transit uh, coming out of there at the end of December 2017. Um, but that will be tend to be when Saturn goes across the degrees of your sun or one of your planets. Um, now, um, this Saturn transit is actually an opportunistic one. It's, it's a chance for you to make the most of a situation, okay? Um, it is not a, a, a really kind of adverse one which is going to really, really make, kind of um, put a huge weight on your shoulders, I don't think. The only thing is that you have to be sensible and not procrastinate and push things on one side, which are to do with correspondence, to do with paperwork, that kind of thing, to do with promotions, media, anything to do with the arts, you've you, you, you got to keep this general structure, structured sort of discipline going all the time with all of those sorts of things and you'll be fine. <laughs> um, and uh, there are a lot of other ways this can be working as well. Um, and uh, you might come across your own, sometimes shoot yourself in the foot with your own negative perceptions of something and realise I didn't have to think about that that way. Uh, maybe if I hadn't thought about that person or that thing that way, it you know it 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 might have turned out better. Or indeed, if I stopped thinking about that person or that thing or that idea or that concept in that way, also this is a great time to go into education, a great time, or indeed to be the teacher, to be the teacher and share all that knowledge and that experience that you've accumulated. You Librans born the twenty third to the twenty fifth of September, or the or twenty fourth to the twenty. 5th of October or with from 28 degrees rising or up to 2 degrees rising are going to feel this energy the most this month um, and that will be Saturn in this new position. Um, okay, 
and um, then Jupiter is uh, going into your 12th house or has just gone into your 12th house that'll be until next September and that means that it's great for developing projects behind the scenes um, tying up loose ends actually as well from a whole sort of cycle um, over this year that year and uh, for healing maybe the past the feeling healing consequences of the past minute whether that's mental physical emotional and doing a lot of healing there um, collaborating on, on projects which are maybe nurturing and caring for you or nurturing and caring for others and maybe the idea would be both but really being far more um, <clears throat> sensitive to the plight of others uh, and uh, the, 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 there's a need and you can feel that need in some way um, in both a business sense and in your personal life we do have this uh, aspect going on this month, uh, Jupiter opposite Neptune, um, just after the first weeks. It's a bit kind of uh, head in the clouds or fantasy prone, um, but with these two to get together by degree, you've got to just be reminding yourself, okay, I must get organized and I must prioritize. I must prioritize and I must get organized and maybe even have a plan B because maybe you have, I don't know, set the bar too high on something or just imagine that something could could come together in a certain time span and Jupiter and Neptune are really hopeless with time. So um, just a word in your ear on that one. Um, somebody being elusive or unreliable, uh, you being elusive or unreliable, maybe because of them, because of a misconnection or missed, you know, something that was missed, uh, which you had banked on, you know. Um, that's a possibility, but it's not a certainty in any way whatsoever, because for many of you, you might just sense this, feel this in the background, but it's not really going to pop up very strongly for you. Um, However, there is going to be a total lunar eclipse in your opposite sign in the early degrees of your opposite sign, meaning that this is the beginning of a new cycle for you in relationships, particularly you earlier Librans born in the first or first, or first, first week, 10 days. Um, and uh, this one is quite good because on the day of the eclipse, which is the 28th of September, there is a really steadying influence coming from Saturn, which will set the precedent for the next several months. So this might mean more settlement coming your way in this new cycle, Libra, so you might like to hear that. Um, but uh, Jupiter, yep, Jupiter's in this background area for th this year, and um, you getting into maybe more imaginative work, more artistic work, some of you, uh, as well as um, sorting out things behind the scenes and, and really getting, growing something really very much more from behind the scenes. Uh, and uh, also feeling more sensitive, you know, to others as well and being there more as an enabler to others. Those of you born um, from the 26th of September to the 4th of October or with 3 to 11 degrees rising, you're going to feel this energy the most. And then in, in conclusion, Uranus, uh, those of you born the 11th to the 15th of October or with 18 to 21 degrees rising, you're going to feel it the most. In fact, it's nearly the same as last month. And Pluto, you Librans, born the 5th to the 10th of October, all with 12, 12 to 14 degrees rising, going to feel the energy the most. Um, and I, as I, I give these dates, but actually, uh, you know, if you've got another planet right next to your sun, and here I'm only talking about the sun, then that gets spread out further. And, and of course, for the whole of the sign, the whole of the sign is going to be feeling that anyway. But um, th those are really the, the closest that I can get um, to, to the, d the present degrees of Uranus and Pluto. And um, uh, that is, you know, change, transition, development of, of all, on all levels in, in your lives uh, going on. And um, it is, it is, there's nothing's left to chance there. Right, you are in good hands, even though you, 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 you might not feel like it. Um, and that's it for September. Um, just trust that you are. And uh, I'll, um, yeah, if you know your rising sign, your moon sign, listen to those. And also this basic stuff is written up on my website. You can find it there, dianagarland.com. And I'll see you the next time.